Hello everyone, thanks for joining. So today we're going to be doing an introduction to Excel for finance professionals. This video is really designed to teach you the basics in building a spreadsheet from scratch. And we're just going to go over some easy tools to use in terms of entering numerical data, making the process more efficiently. So feel free to follow along. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new spreadsheet here. And we're basically just going to build a financial statement. Very simple, nothing complicated here. I'm going to use this data to, to help me build it as well. I have I already have this pre-made data. So whenever you're doing some sort of financial statement, um, you can utilize these boxes. And let's say you're doing a statement for a company. So in, in our case, we're doing Microsoft Corporation. So you can use Enter in the company's name, and then if you're doing an income statement, enter the dollar amount you'll be doing. And then also enter in the time period. So we're doing time period from 2011 to, to the 2016. Now you notice the rows are a bit imbalanced in terms of the text. So what you want to go ahead and do is highlight the first three rows and you want to use the merge function below the home tab go ahead and click the drop down arrow and you want to merge across and that's going to allow you to merge the cells so that you get rid of the column lines and then you can go ahead and center the text you can also increase the font size and you can add bold to help the title stand out Okay, so now that we have that, we want to start to input the dates in which we'll be analyzing. So let's say we're doing 2016, 2015. Now, once you've entered dates consecutively, Excel will recognize a pattern and you can actually use the click and drag function to enter in the rest of the dates. In order to do that, you'll have to highlight the box cells and go ahead and drag the mouse to the bottom right of the of the corner and you can click and drag and Excel will automatically input the dates for you uh, it just makes it a lot easier than to have to manually input them for you okay so now that you have the dates you can go ahead and customize it to however you like you can add background color you can add uh, bold and there you go. If you wanted to add borders, you can do that as well. Go to the border box, click down the arrow, and add some borders to help you separate the data. Just makes it easier for you to, to view it. Okay. Now, let's say we want to start inputting some titles here. And let's say we want to add a separate column. So go ahead and click the A column. You can right click insert another column and that's going to add a separate column so that you can start to add in certain titles and basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to get our our income our financial statement to look like this okay so now we can go ahead and click the titles we got sales we got net income we got net income and then we have net profit margin it's like that now you notice, again, we, we have the same problem here where the text will overlap to the next column. In order to adjust it, just go ahead and click the A column, drag the mouse to the right, and you'll see two arrows there. Double click, and now you can adjust. All right, so now that we have that, I'm going to go ahead and copy the cells that I have here along with the net income. So hit Control-C or right-click the mouse and copy. I'm just going to go ahead and paste it to my new income statement here so I can use this data. So what I want to do now is I want to calculate the net profit margin. So in order for me to do that, I need to enter a formula into Excel to figure out what that percentage is. To enter any formula in Excel, the first thing you need to do is click equals. Now this formula is pretty simple. All we need to do is divide our net income by our sales. 
So we have equals, click net income, divided by sales, and then we're going to go ahead and click tab, and that's going to give me my net income. I want to change this to a percentage format, so go to the home tab, click percentage, and there you have it. Now, use the same function you used earlier to click and drag, and Excel will automatically calculate the rest of the, uh, the uh, dates that we have here for our net income, just like that. Okay, if you wanna, so there you go. All right, so that's pretty much how you perform any sort of simple calculation. Doesn't require any special function. You can, you can input the formula if you know the formula. In this case, it was net income divided by sales. And that's just an easy way to go ahead and calculate things for you. So now let's say you want to create a chart that will show you a better representation of these numbers. Go ahead and highlight the numerical data. Now in this case, we probably won't highlight the net profit margin because it's going to throw off the chart, but we can at least find a chart that's going to show us our sales and our net income. Go to the top left corner. You're going to see insert, hit tab, click tab, or click the insert tab. And then we want to build a column chart here. So we're just going to build the regular column chart. And automatically Excel is going to create a chart for me. Now what I want to do is I want to get sales and income side by side. So I'm going to switch the rows and the columns. And that's going to give me the comparison between the sales and the net income. Okay, so if you wanted to add a title to your chart, you can just go ahead and click chart title at the top here and then it'll text box will pop up you can enter your title sales versus net income and that's how you build the chart All right so i hope this video was helpful please let me know if you have any questions or comments down below and subscribe to my youtube channel as i will be posting more tutorial videos on excel specifically for financial